if we can blow it up. This is a 10 watt iPad charger. So this would be what you'd say is probably a 2.1, 2.4 amp charger. Stick that in there. And we're gonna rip one of these things apart because this one, yeah, just the way it goes. Bye. And let's see. So the outside shell is the ground once we get this plastic sheath off if it comes off. Hey, look, it's pretty hard to take off. Hmm. That seems suspect. How am I gonna break this? Just carrying it around in my pocket if I can't even really take these things off. Screw the ah, pliers. So what has to happen is this is the outer shield, is the ground. So in a circuit you have a positive and a negative. This is a DC circuit, so it's a direct current. So it means a source like on your battery in your car you have a positive red one and it's going to the, to the black one so say if you had a light bulb for instance so here we have <clears throat> one that has two circuits inside so one's for a um, turn light and one's for a stop light a running light so each one of them will have these connections and when you make a connection to those one's going to the ground of the car the other one's coming from turn signal. It's going to turn. It's going to touch. So basically, it's a little short. This is what happens when you short something out. The light turns on. That's a circuit. So this one, the outside is going to be a ground. So you see, there's a braided set, which is very rugged, very tough. That's why it's there, so that it won't be easy to get through. Then you have this other part that is the shield. Also, that's grounded. That's touched. These two are supposed to go together. So. In order to make a contact, you're going to have to get through those two and then get to one of these tiny wires inside. One of them is going to be for power, two of them are more maybe for a data kind of configuration. These two might be also um, on the other side of the plug, so one could be for this side of the plug, one could be on the other. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these. I'm gonna guess the red one because it's gonna be. I don't know, I'll test it. I'm gonna see what's what. Super teeny. But we'll try to start a fire anyway. Because my gonna set this to DC. Boom, 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 DC. Turn it on. Hey, look at there. Alright. So, hang on, folks. Uh, let's take this, this, see if you can see this. Probably not. How about now? Nope, still can't see it. How about now? Yeah, maybe I'll be able to see it. Okay, so I've got my negative here. We're going to find out what kind of power we're getting. So here, 5 volts. So that's what I figured was the 5 volt setting there. Here, 2 volts. Black one. Zero, so one of the datas, and two volts. If we were connecting this one and the shield, five volts. So the red one is the highest volt. So if we were to cut through that one, <clears throat> put them together, suppose they were going to get five volts at about two amps. We're going to see if we get a spark for one, and then go from there. Huh, no spark at all. Weird. Actually, it's not weird. All these people who are doing this, they have it hooked up to something massive. I'll touch it on these just to show you there's nothing else going on here either. And sure enough, no spark. Alright, so if 
we were to cut this and we we're to hook it into here and just leave it there or maybe even twist it together probably what we're going to do is burn up the burn up the connector but i doubt that either it's shorted right now so like it should be sparking you should see some sort of heat build up but uh, it's so low it just doesn't even matter so now we're not getting anything not getting anything not getting anything these of course are not going to get anything so we have a circuit going so this thing might have been shutting off so i'm going to feel it it's not warm this isn't doing anything um let's say apple is smart let's say they have their own um, protection circuit but now i'm gonna unplug this just in case i'm an idiot five volts again okay so it does turn off turn on and off or well it uh it will uh at least not show voltage on these other ones if it's showing a short in there so there could be something in that one i'm gonna put it into a dumb charger so to speak so it's a belkin i think or an anchor or something like that um i'll just take one of these out put this guy in here maybe i'll blow it up who knows that's what's fun you reading of 5.2 volts which is we're getting the other one uh, white one 2.7 again and 2.7 so that's about right let's touch this and see if this shorts out and blows anything up oh man just nothing no shorting no little spark nothing at all oh man well i was hoping something would blow up but i kind of expecting it not to because it just doesn't do anything uh let's see if this thing when i put this together if it shorts out the system and decides to not give power to these other ones if it's smart and i'll try to go get a dumb uh, phone charger or not a phone charger but just a, a pock or a block um that will tell us maybe it doesn't have these circuits in there because they're cheap i'll be back i'll leave this on just in case anything blows up Oh, it'll be so dramatic. Line them up like dominoes. Throw them back. Hello, did it catch on fire yet? What? No? Huh. Same thing. Oh, well. Is it warm? Nope. This one's from my uh, drone. Can't tell the number, but. So this max output 3 amps. 2 amps. Hey, guess what? I can't read those small letters. Maybe you can. Probably not. This should spark. If this is going to go, it's going to spark. There's going to be like a connection. Like that's the teeniest of connections is going to spark. Five volts. So this one's actually a pretty, it's kind of a weak one in comparison to those um, Apple ones. Those were at 5.4, I think we said, but 5.0, right? Straight up. I don't know. Um, I think everybody, I think whoever's doing those, those videos that show like a, a light flash or something, I, I mean, I'm not almost positive they have it hooked up to some higher power source, like, and they wanted to do it for clicks. They want to do it for, you know, um, making somebody believe in their stuff as opposed to Apple or, you know, something like that. It's just, these things are safe. You can sleep with them by your bed. They're not going to blow up. Um, whoever did those, all the all the stories I found were from 2015, four years ago. Somebody, you know, started a rumor. Somebody did, you know, something that they wanted some attention, and, and they got it. So, anyway, uh, don't worry about it. And you know, test it if you want. This is just it's easy. It's DC. It's low amperage, low wattage, and you're going to be okay. But guess what? I can't read those small letters. Maybe you can. Probably not. I'm not getting anything. So the red one is the highest bolt. So if we were to cut through that one.